top no longer a clock. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realm. So today we are going to turn this old clock into an enclosure. That's right, an enclosure. So I picked this up actually at my work. It's broken, it was in the skip. And I thought, I wonder what I could do with it. So first of all, what we're gonna do, remove this cardboard bit and uh, get rid of the hands. So here we have that. Doesn't matter about the middle bit being there. I will show you why after. So what I'm gonna do is this bit's a bit time consuming. I'm gonna remove all this sticky, nasty bit. So there we have it guys. Got all the sticky, nasty stuff off. There's a few little marks, but they're no longer sticky at all, so it's not gonna cause problem to our invertebrates. So what I've done now is I've chopped up some mesh, size enough for each little hole that's here. And the reason I've done that rather than blocking it completely as it will just add a little bit of extra ventilation into our enclosure. So what I'm gonna be doing is hot gluing each one of these mesh pieces down now. There we have it guys. These are hot glue guns down now. So what we're gonna be doing now is adding a little bit of decoration. So I've got some bark here, and I've got some fake leaves, and let's see how this will turn out. So here we have it guys, our first ever attempt at making a clock enclosure. Now I wanted to do this because I thought it'd be cool to hang something on the wall there. And um, it has got quite a good depth to it. So although it won't be able to house anything large, I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe some sort of incy wincy spider, web it up a little bit. I don't know. I mean, I am planning on doing future videos where we can get some stuff from the UK to bring it back here to enclosures. I wouldn't ever keep anything wild caught that we've got ourselves, but we can have it for like, I don't know, a few weeks, study it, um, see its behaviours before we set it free. And uh, I mean, if you've got any suggestions of anything really that you, you think would be cool in our clock enclosure, let me know in the comments below. So I'm gonna give you a close up of this now, but before I do, I wanna say thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all the support that you've given me over the last few months since I started my channel. I've boomed higher than I could imagine, and that's all thanks to you guys. So thank you so much. If you are brand new to the channel, please ignore the wobbly camera, but uh, <laughs> I haven't got my tripod on me at the minute. Um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button because it means more to me than you can imagine. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, hit that thumbs up and leave us a comment what you reckon should go in there. So thanks again guys, take care, bye bye.